perfume mail time. I got these scent strips from Perfumer H in London. This is Lynn Harris's brand. She started Miller Harris and then sold it. And um, this is her brand now, Perfumer H. They are not very widely distributed, but they have opened some stores in other countries outside of England. And they are also in some clothing boutiques, you know, kind of like how Comme de Garçon is sometimes distributed. You kind of see it in like boutiques that sell kind of um, hard to find brands. And um, they're not always perfume or beauty boutiques. They're just, you know, shoe stores or clothing stores. So it's kind of like that. Like you can get it at stores that sell a little bit more uh, luxury goods, let's say. They don't have samples available for purchase. They don't have a discovery kit, um, but you can email them. And if you're in England, I think they'll send you samples. And if you're outside of England, they send you scent strips depending on the regulations of your country. And so in Canada, it's illegal to mail perfume without a license. And I guess they don't have a license. Like, I guess what I'm trying to get at is that um, sampling is not part of their culture. Like, it's not part of their brand um, vision. They seem to have samples, but they don't make them widely available. I don't know what the reason of that is, other than I feel like they're just trying to be a little extra elite to the point where it's annoying because you should have samples that people can buy and you should get a license to be able to send them. I mean, if you just had a sampling kit, then when you send bottles to the stores that carry your perfume, you could also send the sample kits, the discovery kits, and people could just buy them the way that they can buy the perfume. But when I emailed the brand, they said, oh, we have a, we know of a store in Vancouver that sells our stuff. So if you're in Vancouver, you can, you can go smell them. But even then, I would have to try it on in the store and then wear it out and then go back to the store to buy it. Like I won't buy it on the spot. So I feel like they just like, and they know what they're doing because this is not like a new, you know, this is not someone that's new to perfume. They know exactly what they're doing, but they, they say they're a small brand and they're not a small brand. They're actually a big brand. Poster. Um, so this package smells good but not good enough to make me blind buy a perfume. I requested powder, because I like powdery scents. I mean, it smells like powder. I don't know what to say, honestly. Incense water. This smells like more like water and less like incense. It's very fresh. There's... Um, I want to say there's um, like petty grain or orange blossom, like it's slightly indolic. Yeah, I would say it's maybe orange blossom. So that would be a top note. I, I'm not getting a lot of incense from incense water and I was considering just buying it so I could smell it, but I would have been disappointed. Rain Cloud, which a few people that I follow on Instagram have. It does smell good. But I don't know. I feel like there's cumin in here. Like there's something dirty in here. I don't know if I would just like buy it based on the scent strip. The last, I was trying to think about this. Like, is it possible to be blown away by what's on a scent strip. And the last time I was blown away by a scent strip was when I smelled Dior's Bois d'Argent. I mean, I had a sample and I was able to try it on skin, but um, the scent strip just smelled so good and I kept it around forever. And so yes, like to answer my own question, you can be blown away, away by something on scent strip and you know, keep coming back to smell it. I just don't think any of these are doing that for me. 
Um, and I mean, maybe they've all kind of, I don't know, maybe they've all kind of blended into each other. I'll let them sit for a couple days. This one is Indian wood. This is actually the best one of the bunch. Because it smells woody, but they all kind of have like a common watery, aquatic, I want to say like ozonic nature, but I don't know if that's just because they've been in an envelope together. And then the last one is musk. This smells like laundry. Like it smells like Tide laundry detergent. So this one is definitely not a favorite. I don't know. I'll let them sit, but they are all very underwhelming. I'm not blown away by them and they're not cheap either. So I don't know. I would have just liked to buy a discovery set and call it a day. And I think, you know, their whole idea of them being a small brand and working on their discovery set, like they didn't just start their brand yesterday. They've been around for many years. I think I read a review from like 2015. So they're not new and they're not that small. And they were started with presumably some seed funding because if Lynn Harris sold her brand, she would have something to start with. I think it's a conscious decision to not offer samples. So I don't know. Tell me what you think about that. I think I've made my feelings really clear. I just am annoyed. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.